Today, I'm gonna show you the basic steps of prepping your foam to create your prop. Foam is very porous, so you have to heat seal it with a heat gun before you do anything. I like to sometimes add texture by cutting little cuts into my foam first. Not all the way through because you don't want the piece to like come apart, so like just barely. If you heat that up with a heat gun, then you'll get something like this. You can actually see the texture come to life. Also, beveling is very important. So if you cut a triangle in any of your foam and glue it back together, you'll get a curve. So that's the basics for making anything like a mask. This is definitely beveled down the center. Um, and then for like bevels and things like that, I also use it to create designs in my weapons and things. It's really important to prime your foam before you paint. If you don't prime your foam, then the paint's gonna soak into the foam and that's not really what you want. And it's really nice because the primer kind of fills the gaps in a little bit, but still leaves them. And you wanna make sure that you coat it thoroughly and don't skip any bits. Voila. So once that dries, you add another layer and then you can add your paint. Another thing that you can do to create designs in your foam is to use a soldering iron to get weathering designs into it. So weathering is when you make your prop look from shiny new to used and worn. So this is something that I did with this. I had watered down black paint and my um, soldering tool, and I created these these fighting marks on it. And I put the, the black watered down paint all around the edges to make it look like it was used metal. This one is also coated in resin, all of these props are, but it's not something that you have to do. There's definitely a little bit more to it, but if you know all this stuff, you're definitely like on your way to making your prop.